One of the biggest nonprofit organizations here in the Valley is hosting their annual event and it is around the corner and we are dedicating this show to it. We are talking about the Desert AIDS Project and the upcoming Steve Chase Humanitarian Awards. Our first guest is Desert AIDS Project CEO David Brinkman here to shed some light on the patient centered model of health care offered at Desert AIDS Project. How you doing? I'm great, Brian. How are you this morning? I can't complain. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. It's great to be here. Wow. A year just flies by, doesn't it? I know, particularly in both your profession and mine. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's jump right in. What or how is patient centered healthcare different than other healthcare provided? You know, uh, Desert AIDS Project created a holistic model of caring for patients at the beginning of the epidemic because it was a necessity. Mm -hmm. Medications weren't good. And so we started seeing healthcare in ways most people don't housing, mental health care dentistry, and we created this wraparound program to provide optimal health to people. And just a much bigger picture we're talking about. Right. Yeah. The word holistic comes to mind all the time, or integrative care, mm -hmm. and DAP's been doing it for the last 35 years. So is, healthcare, is holistic health care going mainstream? I think so, particularly we see it in California, right? Mm -hmm. Quite common in a Desert AIDS project. When we say healthcare, we mean acupuncture, mm -hmm. right? We mean chiropractic, we mean massage, but we also mean what you and I think of as Western medicine, mm -hmm. housing, dentistry. Now, this new method of healthcare kind of has a more focus on families per se. Tell us a little bit more about that. Our uh, strategy today is to take care of the whole person, and that includes their significant other, mm -hmm. their spouse, right, the members of their household who are adults. Because we know if one person is getting care and somebody else is not, right, yeah. that is creating strain, which is creating an impact on the immune system. So today, Desert AIDS, care, Desert AIDS Project cares for all people, regardless if they have HIV or not. Wow, all right. So this healthcare model also focuses on the importance of social connection and behavioral health. Stretch on that a little bit. You know, we are in an age of isolation. Even though we have so much ways, so many ways to connect, we have a lot of people fighting with isolation, depression, mm -hmm. anxiety. All of those things impact the immune system. And so our model, which we call a patient-centered medical home, creates opportunity to address the whole body and also mental health of our patients simultaneously. What are we looking at here, David? We're looking at here right now is our model, right? All the different ways of which we address the human body. When you're doing all of those different avenues of care simultaneously, in advance, you see if there is a serious disease coming forward and you have an opportunity to prevent it. Now, are we gonna see this structured model nationwide? I sure hope so, because we all know who've taken care of aging parents or aging friends that our health care system is not integrated, and it is at DAP, and we get great results because of it. And you mentioned this a moment ago, but how new is this to Desert Age Project? We have invented it over the last 35 years. And just perfecting it every year? Each year we get a little better at it, that's true. All right, wonderful. And uh, in a moment, we're going to talk a bit more about uh, the Steve Chase Humanitarian Awards. Just quickly, what is your favorite aspect to this event? The most important person on our planet in ending the HIV epidemic, Ambassador Deborah Brooks, will be on our stage. Whoa! Yeah. The most important the person most... on the planet. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Well, as I said, we're going to see more of Desert Age Project and uh, some board members coming up in just a bit. We'll see you in just a moment.